hello, hello, it's Jeffers here with another video for Two Beard Gaming. Still playing Maneater. Uh, I'm going to show you, as you can see, I've got 100% on everything in the game. I'm going to show you a bit of Dead Horse Lake and how to get those achievements. Um, as you can see, there's 10 landmarks, 14 chests, and 10 license plates to get. So, if I... I'm going to go in, as zoom in as far as I can. Leave it on there for a bit. Let's have a look. This section first. Just so you can see where everything is. Uh, that way you can get these achievements. Um, as you can see in this section there's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> there goes my phone. Six, seven, eight. About eight chests. There's two grills to find which leads you to different chests, there's a hunt in there, different landmarks, so if I look on the log, these are all the stories that you complete, so we're in Dead Man's Lake, no, Dead Horse Lake even, if I s keep scrolling down, there's Crawfish Bay, Fatwick Bio, Dead Horse Lake, these are all the things you can get in Dead Horse Lake, so there's all of the license plates, there's bank on it, which is a, a hunting quest for a different marine life. Mouth like a sir, which is another marine life. Nuclear option, which is marine life. Take a bite out of organised crime, which I believe is a mafia boat, which you have to destroy. There's the chess, which I've already stated. There's a beat a dead horse, which is uh, killing humans. Uh, Birds of Passage, Killing Humans, Dixie Mafia Disposal Service, Killing Humans, Hungry Hungry for Hobos, and the Landmarks. Those are all the quests in this section. So if I go back to the map, when it finally catches up, zoom right in. Just on this section here, you can pause it. Do whatever you want so you can get all of these lovely things in this section. Move that so you can see. Pause it, do what you want. That way it will enable you to get them. Just in the Dead Horse Lake. I'll move on. This is another section, Dead Horse Lake. I think that can that is actually the first section included in there. So that's most of them. As you can see, there's a chest covered by that bar at the top, uh, which you can get. Just pause on this for a moment. As I said, I'm zoomed in to the fullest, so you can see all of the bits and areas in a dead, dead man's lake, dead horse lake, as it were. If I scroll down here, that's another section of the lake. What you can do, if you set a mark point, a waypoint even, to whereabouts these things are, if you can't find them, if you then press the sonar button, they'll highlight on the map so you can see them. Then you can click on them, follow the uh, marker, and it will show you where they are. This is Dead Horse Lake. Let's have a, a play in the game, I think. I'm on the shadow shark <coughs> that I left it on that has the hudookid thing. Um, it's not called that, but it, it sounds like it to me anyway. But, uh, we'll uh, jump on in. a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe. <laughs> yep, that's the shadow shark. Everything leveled up. So let's uh, go and kill a few things, shall we? As I said, if you click the button, you can go to the map. You can highlight on the map. If you've got them already, or it's highlighted and you haven't got them, if you click on it, go back, it tells me I'm 201 meters. The closer I get to that thing, it will tell me if I'm nearly near it or not. 
as I've got 100%, it won't show it. So I'm just pretty much sandbox game doing what I want at the moment. I'm just swimming around, eating stuff because I'm a big shark. Uh, as I said before, it's a good game. If not you that someone, much uh, longevity mode, or you however you say that message. Blood alcohol level is um, at least but it is good. There's only so much you can do with a shark. You you basically bite things to eat them, and that's about it. You swim about. So they were limited for now. with what they the can do in this. To work. Um, so it's understandable I'm being hunted at the moment. So if I hide, that threat level will go down hide at the bottom here or I could just go and kill them because I'm a double hard shark there's a little fish trying to kill me so I'm gonna do the wobbly thing and kill it that's the dodge button which is the right shoulder button there's the hadoukit thing which is the left shoulder button the left trigger button is a burst of speed and the right trigger button is the chomp. I'm playing this on Xbox so it might be different to whatever you're playing it on. So uh, I think we should go and kill some hunters. What do you think? A bit of a landmass there. Charge! Don't know how I'm going to do because I'm the shadow shark, usually the bone shark. So if I avoid them health by eating some fish. Oh, there's someone there. Where are they? There they are. Eat the diver. I don't know what the shadow shark does. Let's activate it. What's it do? I don't know whether it's stealth or what that does, but it doesn't seem to be doing a lot, whatever it is. Probably because I keep missing people. It's very difficult to follow when you're showing people how to do it. This shark is so fast, so all you can see is me running about like a loony. Get this boat. The yes, why not? And I think with the shadow shark, one of their abilities is the more you bite, the more health you get. I think they're supposed to be like a shark or something like that. A bit of aerial acrobatics then. The thing is, with, when you get the threat level to so high, <clears throat> the only way to avoid it really is just to swim away because the more you keep killing people, the more they're going to attack you. Um, so, it is a game. If there's a little bit of stealth involved when you're getting beaten or whatever, or they've got those stupid boats which kill you. You do keep the diver in a bite. Yeah. Oh, it's an alligator. Let's kill it. When you first start out, these alligators are not as easy to kill. For us. Oh, look at that. Aerial dynamics or what? Right. Let's go back to the grotto to try and avoid these people. So if I go on the map again, if I click the grotto, I can't fast travel as I'm currently being hunted. So if I go back to the grotto, I'll leave it on the map for a bit so you can check out where things are, which will enable you to get 100% on Dead Horse Lake to kill this crocodile. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Where am I going? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh dear. You can find your home by following this orange cable thing, and that will be the grotto, which is where he lives, the bull basically. Retreats to the grotto so, going back to the map, reflection. I'll zoom in as much as I can so you can see as much of the map as you can. I did it a bit close up before, just in case it's a bit small on whatever screen you're watching. I'll leave it on this for a bit so you can check. As I said, there's 10 landmarks, 14 chests, and 10 license plates to get on Dead Horse Lake. Uh, 
thank you for watching my video I hope you've liked it don't forget to like and subscribe please comment below telling me what you thought of Manhunter or if there's anything you'd like to see me do or any hints or tips or any games you like to play I like getting a hundred percent on things so I'll be more than inclined to do it so there you go there's the map there's Mad, Hun Mad Hunter good god Man Hunter Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video hopefully.